something we've talked about in the past, we did a couple of shows on it, um, constantly comes up out there, very, very popular topic, reverse grip, turning around. A lot of, since we're doing the Shen stuff right now, it seems appropriate to talk about it. Um, now, we've gone on record as saying it is, it has its uses, but it's extremely limited. And uh, where we find it to be extremely limited is in the way that conventionally people are using it, which is essentially just holding the saber backwards and trying to affect the same type of techniques with it, you know, as, as before. Um, <clears throat> that is not necessarily going to yield a whole lot of results. We've got some footage for you, which we'll be showing you here in a second, but we'll kind of go through some of the, uh, some of the kind of inherent weaknesses and um, show you why it's not exactly the highest percentage technique. Now, um, sometimes people will claim that uh, reverse grip is faster than uh, conventional uh, hammer grip. And for, for our purposes, we'll call them uh, <laughs> hammer grip and ice pick grip. Uh, <clears throat> so hammer grip, holding it like a hammer, ice pick, holding it like an ice pick. Okay. Okay, so the idea that this is quicker than, than forward grip. First of all, there's a, there's a little bit of a problem with that idea in that unless I have my blade pointing like this, it, my blade is behind me, right? Which means at the very least it has more distance to travel to get to the target. Which means it's probably far easier to telegraph, right? And that is true, okay? So if I'm here and when I come up like this, right, there's not necessarily anything that's going to trick him into not being able to do that. Also, my hand leads the movement, right? So if I'm like this, my hand comes up first, giving him the signal that that strike is coming, right? <clears throat> so if I'm here, he can grab, he can get my hand, anything like that. Now, if I do get him over like this, and I want to do something like that, right? People see doing the orbits with the reverse grip, and that's one of the things that they cite. So I would come in like this, push him over like that, and then come over the top. As you see, not that successful. Um, we can come in here like this, and if I go straight in like this, yes, I did get him, right? But he's still, he's still pretty got, got a pretty good parry on me, and then even if I come around here, I still don't have anything. In this position, if I take it away, I, I really can't quite get him here. I can probably get his hand by sliding up. All of these things are still possible holding it hammer style, right? to where I can push it over and go over like that, but I also have really small movements that are available to me. You see? I don't have that here. If I go up like this, I'm stuck holding it like this. Now, another claim is that it's stronger, that you have more, more strength with this. This is easily shown to be not true. Number one, your thumb is here. And where your thumb and your fingers are, that's where your grip is going to be the strongest, right? If I want to disarm, if I want to take his weapon away from him, I'm going to grab it here and pull toward the open space in his fingers. Like this. Notice that I'm grabbing below his pinky to do that, right? Now, if he goes into reverse grip, right, I can do that with my sword. Take it over like that, right? If he gets up to here, <laughs> then it's a pretty easy, it's a pretty easy uh, uh, manner to, to, to deal with that, okay? <clears throat> so, it's not stronger, it's not quicker, right? 
The techniques that are used, that is used for, are usually in close to where you don't have a whole lot of space to, to maneuver around. So if we get in here and we're in a bind and I can't quite get around, I can reverse my grip like this and then bring it around here over there. Um, let's do that on the other side here. I'm here like this, if I reverse my grip and then use that extra leverage to push it down, now I have this kind of stuff here. But if I'm out here, right, I mean, first of all, I feel ridiculous. Kind of stabbing, kind of stabbing like a, like a madman in, in, into the air. I don't have a whole lot of my techniques available to me, right? It's good for me to be able to do stuff like this. If I come in here like this, right, and I can come up like this, here, this is a great armor piercing type of thing, but if I'm here like this, now I'm back in conventional grip. Okay, so it's not necessarily that we're going to never use this, right? But you should not, well, you shouldn't really begin in this position unless you are absolutely certain you really outrank the person you're going to, <laughs> you're, going, you're going up against. Otherwise, it's gonna be kind of a handicap in, in that way, right? Not to say it can't be done, not to say there aren't techniques that can be used, but <clears throat> they are relatively low percentage and don't come up an entire lot of the time. So, here you go. So we'll probably revisit this little topic again, of course. Um, so, right now I will throw you over into uh, some of our little experiments with the reverse grip. Um, enjoy those. Join us on Facebook. Like, share, and subscribe. Spread the word. Have a great day and happy sabering. <laughs>